everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. I have been thrifting as I love to do and I have picked up a few things that I will flip today and make beautiful, fit into my decor all year round but especially now for Christmas or so. Stay tuned for this. For my first flip today I will transform this cute little greenhouse that I thrifted for three four euros about the same in US dollars so it looks very very dirty so the first thing that I'm going to do is take out all the glass but it's not really glass it's acrylic glass and I was wiping and wiping and wiping and I could not get it clean this video is part of the Third Thursday Thrift Trips Challenge hosted by the Russet Chick Design and the Russet Willow and the co-host for this month is Crafty Lini. I will leave links to their channels down in my description box so you can check them out later and also a link to the playlist of this challenge for more thrift flip ideas. After all that wiping and cleaning you can see it's still not clean it's yellow i don't know if you can see that clearly so i i can't really use that uh, acrylic glass so what i decided to do here is to take out all the glass once more and um, change it out for real glass and i will just take what i have on hand and that is glass that is left over from frames that I have used for other purposes. It didn't need the glass anymore for those frames. There we go. First thing I do is to take something flat, really really flat when you work with glass and when you want to cut glass you need a really flat surface. So I'm taking a marker here and marking on the glass where I need to make my cuts. Just trying out different glass pieces that I have, see if I can use them for my greenhouse. So I take a ruler, keep it steady and a glass cutter and make my cut like that and then I go to the edge and break it off. Just make sure that I don't have any glass pieces on my surface so I damage the glass I'm working on make another cut there we go and then sand off the edges and I do that on all my pieces for my greenhouse the greenhouse itself I'm taking to my workshop and spray paint it and I'm using a gold spray paint and also touches of black to antique it a little bit so it's not too shiny, too bright, I want the old world look. Et voila, I have put the glass pieces in place and decorated it for Christmas with a couple of LED candles and some pine picks. And I have some ribbons there as well and there you can see I was not successful all the way around it cracked a little bit and I didn't have another piece but it looks perfect I think what do you think for my second flip I will take this photo album that I picked up from the thrift store for three euros it has a very good shape, perfect for a transformation and on the inside you can put photos or postcards or something so I might even use it but I will make a 
beautiful book cover using fabric. I've just made a video that I made book covers from paperbacks and uh, also a hardback uh, with uh, paper mache and uh, cardboard and uh, paint. Uh, I will leave a link down in the description box if you are interested. So first thing I take that embellishment away and also the lock of the book. I will use this pair of trousers as a perfect colour for me. So I'm just ripping off a piece like that. See how much I need to that it's straight and cut off the excess. So I will use that on the spine that and on the front and back I will use this brown fabric looks very old world to me so that is perfect so I'm just marking out where to cut and take two pieces like that I will have uh, this buckle here that I showed you earlier with some ribbon to be able to close my book. I'm just looking for the right ribbons to use because once I am done picking out the pieces I want, I will go out in my workshop to attach everything because I will use glue spray and I don't want to do that in my living space. I have heated up my glue gun and I'm starting with the buckle on the front. Put the buckle on, see that it's long enough and glue it in place so just with the hot glue and put it in place and then it's time to put that um, spine cover in place. Just spraying and uh, make sure it's flat and even. And then I spray on the inside as well and fold the excess like you see me do here. Do that on both sides, of course. So I didn't want to adhere directly on certain places, so I just took some mini clamps to keep the fabric in place. And over the spine I create ridges from a cute uh, braided jute ribbon. Hot glue it into place like that. And then it's time for the brown fabric spray it into place fold it on the inside like that and the corners meet up and then I will cut off the excess like that and flatten out the fabric and I do the same on the other side but first I need to attach that ribbon to connect with the buckle on the other side like that and now the brown fabric comes in place on the back as well Do the same procedure on the inside, put the corners together like you see me do here and cut off the excess. To hide that not so nice seam between the brown and the cream fabric, I take a jute ribbon and put that in place. A little extra on the sides to be able to fold on the inside but first I will attach 
that braided jute ribbon here as well a little bit extra to fold on the inside and just attach it with some hot glue like that and I do the same on the other side now I'm painting some uh, cut out numbers I will have a number 11 on the spine and then I had a wooden cut out dove as well and I'm painting them with an antique gold color just the one coat so before I put them on I will make the inside of the cover nice and I'm just using some cardboard paper cut it to size and then take my glue spray and attach it like that and I do the same on the other side if you're new to my channel hi I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs thrift flips, trash to treasures, renovation of my home and I even do some pottery and some painting. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. I thought the pages look a little bit too shiny white so I'm taking my antique gold color and just dry brushing dirty them up a little bit so now I need a bookmark for my book and just putting it inside that spine with some hot glue just press it into place put it in place inside the book and see how much I need then I cut it to size and duct tail the end there and I close my book and it looks good doesn't it just a few more touches put the number 11 on the spine just with some hot glue like that and I have put some hardware for a door on the spine as well and I have just stapled it into place and here I am putting on my dove as well on the front of the cover voila this is how my book transformation turned out I think it's beautiful old world looking if you go to dark and light academia it's probably a bit more light academia tell me what you think and as I said, if you want more inspiration on how to do book covers, I have a link down in my description box to another video that I just made. And this is where I have put it in my bookcase together with some other newly transformed books. For my third and final flip, I will take this basket, this wooden basket here. It looks beautiful as is, but I will darken it a little bit. So I will tape off that bottom of uh, the basket because I will keep that it's a nice saying I think and then I will take my black stain put it on with a paintbrush and uh, wipe off the excess with a paper tissue like you see me do here it will create a slightly darker look that I'm after and I do that both on the outside and the inside
Once completely dry, I will take this beautiful checkered uh, fabric, just cut it to size to fit that basket and let it flow over the edges like that. I will cut it slightly smaller than that. And once I'm happy with the size, I will take uh, this cute lace ribbon and just hot glue it on the edges all the way around like you see me do here. For this decor you won't see the basket itself really, but this is how it turned out. Beautiful, I think. That fabric will cover most of it. So I just put it inside like that and then I will take what I have on hand to decorate it for Christmas. I might use it as a, a bread basket for Christmas, but until then I have some black embroidery hoops that I'm going to use just to put some pretty fabric in. Put it inside, tighten it and then cut off the excess. I'm taking the jeans in the last one here, cut off the excess here as well. Then I have uh, three pretty pieces for my basket like that and then I will take some ribbons on old world spools put them in place if you like this video and videos like this consider subscribing maybe share with a friend and hit that like button as well it will help my channel to grow and i can spend more time creating inspirational content for you my aim is to upload one video per week Et voilà, here it is sitting on the floor beside my mushrooms looking pretty for Christmas and I have added a Christmas pig and a wooden cutout snowflake like you see here. So tell me, what do you think of my creations today, my flips? Did you have a favourite? Let me know in the comments. If you are inspired, and you want more inspiration straight away, just head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge for more thrifty ideas. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.